A turtle sometimes travels thousands of miles across oceans to find the right spot to nest. For one to come across a sea turtle on the shore laying hundreds of eggs after the perilous journey and to end its life prematurely has to be one of the most heinous acts against marine life. National Conservation Employees on Monday discovered such a scenario at VG Beach. The senseless killing of a hawksbill turtle has tugged at the heartstrings of shocked environmentalists and members of the public. It's very obvious if you if you look in further, you would realize that it's sitting in position or in position of laying. The hole is dug and it was in the process of doing just that. A very unfortunate incident. It is the nesting period. The nesting period runs from the 1st of March until the end of November and May, June seem to be the peak when turtles are coming up to nest and, and they can do so along any beach across the island. VG seem to be a popular nest inside because we have been receiving a lot of reports from VG in the past couple years. Um, I'm commendable for NCA for calling and you know informing us of this discovery um, and so the department we will continue in our efforts to bring awareness to turtle protection. Since Lucia's local regulations currently allow an open season from October 1st to December 31st and a closed season from January 1st to September 30th, but poachers and fishers continue to harvest sea turtles and their eggs illegally. Fisheries biologist Yvonne Edwin expressed concern about the decline of sea turtles due to human activity. The turtles will leave the ocean to come up to nest and there is a six to eight week period before the baby turtles even emerge. So after nesting today it would have taken an additional 50 to 80 days and the survival rate of turtles is one that is um, something that is significantly of concern because it's one in a thousand. Some science is indicating that it's one in two thousand of those baby turtles making it to adulthood. Turtles also, the, the maturity rate is pretty late. It's 25 to 40 years later, depending on the species. And so you would imagine these baby turtles could only return to a beach to nest 25 or 40 years later. A very long period, and that is why turtles are extremely important. And acts like this is one that is of grave concern for the department. The law protects the nesting turtle and its eggs. Edwin cautions against disrupting a female during this process. She encourages the public to share information on any activity they may stumble upon. If someone is caught interfering with a turtle, the eggs or the hatchling, it's a $5,000 fine that's stipulated under the Fisheries Act. Again, the public, you're reminded that when you see any sea turtle activity, any turtle coming up to nest, it is okay to view this. However, you cannot interrupt the process. Leaving garbage behind, interfering with nesting turtles, these are all concerns and one we want the public to be aware of. This is a nesting beach, it's a popular one. Any beach across St. Lucia is a nesting beach and you may come across a sea turtle. The request from you is to report those activities, do not interfere and try as much as possible to protect and conserve the sea turtle population. The hunting and slaughter of sea turtles continue to be a bone of contention and a topic of much debate. 42 countries allow the legal hunting of sea turtles. In 2022, a sea turtle fishery survey indicated that demand for turtle meat encouraged the widespread sale and consumption at popular locations locally. The World Wildlife indicates that sea turtles are a fundamental link in marine ecosystems. They help maintain the health of seagrass beds and coral reefs, which benefit commercially valuable species such as shrimp, lobster and tuna. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.